Yo, right, lads, this is the Geordie Jedi here. Game of Thrones Episode 4 has been released, and we're going to have a go of it. Apparently, according to all the reviews, I mean, this is reviews, so... Like IGN and that, who... I'm trying, I'm trying to think how to describe it. They usually do say stuff like that. It's not that they're wrong, they're not very, actually very rarely are, but... Basically, it, apparently this is one of the best episodes, it's certainly the best episode so far. Very interesting. Definitely interesting. I see what I Previously. Yeah, I remember last episode, basically, last episode I fucked up. I actually royally fucked up. Because, spoilers alert, when. Tyrion got done for the um, we were told for killing Joffrey. I'd agreed a deal with Tyrion Lannister, which of course meant that anybody who'd had any dealings with Tyrion was basically fucked. I've heard stories, old tales. So I've got a you know. Your love. Luckily, I got rid of the letter, but honestly, in the end, I'm basically back, further back from where I started because I'm now. I don't have um, Marjorie's support anymore. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. Yeah, she's a, she's a bastard. To be able to share that with someone. Someone it's kind of weird how it's not a bitch. I mean, I mean, I mean, it is and it isn't. If you know what I mean. You're not still marrying into this wretched. Sorry, is that a fly? I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. Yeah, I couldn't give a shit by that. It's unfortunate, but I mean, I don't care. Marie. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. You talk about it, no, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we just left it when he. <laughs> when we ran into um, Daenerys. I did stay down as I recall. Be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins in here. Eventually, I'll come back. Does need to keep Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. That was an interesting moment, isn't it? About your father, did I? Seems well that I wouldn't ruin it. He's actually he's a very very decent bloke. I was gonna say I didn't kill him. Bugger off! I, I didn't actually kill him. I've, I did everything I could to avoid it, but when I tried to avoid it, he killed me anyway. So I th so what was the point? In the end, I just had to kind of finish that. I didn't mind on a personal level. Really, I wanted him dead, but. The grand scheme of things, actually, I couldn't quite care. Although this might th make things more and more interesting, but... Actually, I can't really, kind of... Basically, if you're watching the current series of uh, Game of Thrones, you might sort of understand why. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You want us a shoulder you want us to be a soldier. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. Oh shut the fuck. He attacked me and and we fought and so you struck him down and left him to die. Yes. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. Yes. Uh, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose his head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonoured, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. Didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. 
Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I'll be there. Moan a bit late, so I stay behind. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him, though. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. Fuck you, prick. You're up to something. Now I'm born, is it? Some deal worked out. Or he's defending you for for some reason I can't fathom. Then who's to say it was other? I think you can't watch a man die and just I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. See, if anyone sends me to death, I'd fight. In that situation, I'd probably fight back. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crack Rock. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Fine. I'll kiss him. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Cluster's. I know I did the right thing. That's all that matters. What Brit did to your family. Anyone would want him dead. No, that's not what I meant. But John. I'm sorry, Garrett. There's nothing more I can do. That's not what I meant. I meant I did the right thing by defending myself. Seems even your mother's abandoned you. How do you know my mother? Oh please. Come on man, you know who I am. I'm probably gonna break out. It's just the way of things. I wish you could skip this. This is really annoying. I've ne I've said it in the past ep in past episodes. I don't like this part. I don't like it in the TV show itself. I, it's uninteresting, especially after you've watched it once. If you've watched it once, you kind of go, "Okay, this is all the places." Tada! In the end, it's just you know the music's not something really that you'd want to. Listen over to over and over again, you know, unlike a fair few other TV shows, really. Some of them can make iconic themes. Game of Thrones, it's made a recognizable theme, but not really a good one. For me, I mean, obviously, if you have different opinions, by all means, hell, you can fucking call us a, a, a prick in the comment section below if you really want to. Although, please don't, I have feelings. But I don't, the theme's just not for me. It's appropriate for Game of Thrones. I, w I will say that. It's very appropriate for Game of Thrones. It's just not me. There's not a sense of epicness either, really. I mean, com when you compare it to, say, Lord of the Rings. You know, like, musical themes from them. Even The Hobbits and... Not, well, even Narnia. Any of the Chronicles of Narnia, I suppose. It's... It's not as I... I don't know. It lacks something for me. It really does. Do you know my I don't much care. It's only the intro. False tales of my dragon. Twenty-four point five. Protection. Liars, every one of them. I ain't no liar, ho. But damn, who am I to Wants to see what I do for life. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I want to be silent. I don't need to say anything. Something wrong with your friend? There will be if he keeps this up. Why? What? What? what she didn't ask for all. Oh shit! Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen the dragon before. Doesn't mean I want to fucking see another one, bitch. 
I'm kidding, she was fed. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's uh he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> hey, I'm just being truthful. Would you like to touch him? You're a head. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Michelle. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. I think I'd rather... You're smarter than you seem. Yes! I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you're Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon, how did you get that? What have you done to him? If you hurt him, hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. Would you not not scared him? He is not my kind of thoughtless beast. He's only mine. If we did, I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. But me short sword's blunt as fuck. Why? What's wrong around? You've been polite? Accommodating. To what end? Why would, how have I been accommodating? My undying gratitude. What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while on their masters. Okay, if I help you, can I have second sons? Is this where we're, we're going with this? Help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation? Once the slaves are free. Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. What a god crown, shut up. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are here to do is bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. I could do it. I think I can. You may leave. That's but it. Your Grace. See that. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? Hey, you left for a little option. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. Oh, shut up. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them with the marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. What are you going to do so? If I find you've lied, I imagine he likes it. I'm in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. It's realistic, but that to me, less that personality was kind of disagrees with me. I do not like that. It seems really unwise to have that kind of attitude about the whole thing. 
I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your own, right? Best get yeah. Yeah. I'm a patch up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. I've never been here. I don't remember what the piss bucket is. Long time since you had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Where are you really? It's up for me, Asher. I don't know where he is. Nail! We got two more. Cool. Cool. Can we find out why why the hell she has a problem with Marine? Who we're going to? Well, we're going to Rod Roderick. Well, we're going to. Honestly, I can't remember my name. Nice to see I can actually fight though again. I miss that. I actually want to kick some the shit out of some people, you know. To start. It's not your leg that's the problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking in command, Sir Royden. He can fight his own battles. You know why I had to stay down. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't help just fighting the pain. Watch me. You need to try something different. <coughs> you can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come on. I don't want to now. I know he's gonna do something, why would I do this? Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knee. Wait for me to attack. Just tell me what button to press, my friend. Roderick. Let's try it again. I press the button, man. Don't be mean. Oh, come on. How much time do they give us? I mean that. Nice. Now that's how you do it. Think you let me? Oh. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Elena. Sapal. So, I'm seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak to you? Privately. Maybe. What's your plan? You remember my little brother? Quinn. Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I prefer Quiver. I don't mind us coming unannounced. I'm called Quiver. I didn't think you were asking me. Maybe this was a bad idea. But I really had no other choice. Lord Whitehill paid my father. She was speaking. I didn't really need to interrupt her. My father Griff had subdued you, and and that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demands Man. I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted a damn coward. You are not, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick. Then you have to defy your father. I intend to. Yay. To marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. No, I said defy. I'm not gonna be in the bone, they throw. But didn't say persuade him, I said defy. Some pride I to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. I thought he meant her father. I think why would you do that? We were hoping you'd say that. Oh, 
Okay then, so in reality, what do you want from me? I mean, what am I meant to do? I've got basically got no army left anyway. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. I have no idea where the Reach is. Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Whitey will still have my little brother. I hurt Griff. There's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I always understand you worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know you might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. So let's be honest. So if I do this, there's something going to be there's something going to go wrong. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of you. I'll do it if it really is the only. I'm going to anyways because I imagine it's. It'll certainly be interesting. To command. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? Yeah, I'm the end of the episode. Now, I'll finish up there. Just because we've run out of time, I'm afraid. This has been the Geordie Jedi. Leave a like if you can, it really helps. Subscribe for more videos. And, may the force be